In this video, I will show you how to fix if you're getting an error message saying that this app could not be installed because its integrity could not be verified on an iPhone. So let's jump straight into it. So to fix this, what you're gonna to want to do first is come to your settings. From here, first you wanna make sure that you're connected to your Wi-Fi. So go into your Wi-Fi, make sure you're connected, and then come back and you wanna scroll down until you get to Safari. Once you've pressed on to Safari, scroll down until you see the clear history and website data button and go ahead and press that to delete your history and website data. Just go ahead and press the red clear history and data to remove your history and data. Next, what you want to do is just scroll down again on the Safari option and click onto advanced. Now go and press onto website data and in the top right hand corner, you want to click onto edit and then go ahead and clear all your website data from here. Once that's done, click done to come out of here and then go back to settings and you want to come now to general settings, which is up here. So press onto general and then what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom till you get to the transfer or reset iPhone option. So press onto this, press onto reset and then go ahead and press onto reset network settings. And the final thing you're going to want to do is just come back and underneath general settings, you want to click onto VPN and device management. And if you do have a VPN connected, make sure you're not currently connected to that VPN. Once that's done, just come out of the settings, try and reinstall the app and that should fix that issue. So you no longer receive that message saying that the app cannot be installed because its integrity could not be verified. So I hope this quick tutorial helped out today and if it did, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.